Hey friends, welcome back to Allie Parker's World. Today we're going to try the try a chapter tag because, well, on my TBR board, I landed on the sampler challenge, which is the try a chapter challenge, and they all have to be mystery or suspense, thriller, horror. I kind of left it a little bit open-ended so that I could pick, you know, some that are related but different. Most of these are like crime um, books because, well, I'm a crime nerd. I love true crime stuff. So, we're going to just read the first chapter, and after each one, I'm going to talk to you about it. So, this one is The I-5 Killer by Anne Rohl, and I've seen the I-5 movie, or the I-5 Killer movie. This is home. This is where I used to live, like right there in Vancouver, right up there, right across from Portland. Um... That's where my family still is, and this is just creepy, and I cannot wait to dive right in. So I will update you after I finish the first chapter, and then we will decide which book of those ones I'm going to finish reading this month. Okay, so I read the first chapter of The I-5 Killer by Anne Rule. And let me just tell you that I thought I knew the basis of this story, but there were so many details in just the prologue that just blow my mind. Like how I got goosebumps. How could someone do that? And it's like crazy and bizarre and I just can't believe someone actually did the, this. These crimes are unthinkable in nature. But I am very intrigued and I would like to learn more because, as I said, I thought I knew this story, but I did not know it well enough. And that was just in the first part of the book, so... I guess we will move on to the next one. So far, this is a very high contender for me, though. The next one is another one that takes place in Oregon that I'm super excited about. The Third Victim by Philip Margolin. 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 Philip Margolin. I'm very sorry if I'm I'm bad at author's themes. But this is about a woman who escapes from someone who kidnapped her and she knows where he lives, she knows what he looks like, she knows everything. So she's trying to help the police get to him before he makes a run for it because he, the theory is that he's done this to two other women, but they died. They were murdered. He, like, kidnaps them, held them captive, and, um, assaulted them for, like, four days, I think. And then he ends up killing them. But the third victim got out before she died, obviously. And this sounds amazing as well so I will update you when I finish this one and let you know what I'm thinking oh my gosh so I just finished the first chapter of the third victim oh it is so gripping and so good I want to know what's going to happen now because, like, I'm just barely getting introduced to the characters and oh, something happened to this woman, but she doesn't want to talk about it. And, oh, this one just, oh, I, I don't even know what to say, honestly. It was 
so good. I'm going to have a hard time picking. So, oh, that one's a very good contender, but so is the i5 killer. So, let's see the next one. Shadow State. Um, I believe that this is about this woman who I think... I think she's in high school. I think she's in high school and she finds out that she was kidnapped. And so her life isn't technically, like those aren't her parents. And that's not the life that she was supposed to have. And it says what she can't remember might kill her. Shadow State by El Ellis Braden. And... It sounds so good, so I will update you when I finish the first chapter of this one. Okay, so I just finished Stato Shadow State by L.C. Braden. And I'm intrigued because it's very mysterious. It's like she's escaping from somewhere but you don't know where or what happened to her or anything it just looks like she just wants to save everyone in her family from what I can tell you so I'm very intrigued as to what's going on and why she's escaping and who she's escaping from or what she's escaping I don't know it just caused so many more questions on this one but it was a very enjoyable chapter. It was a very quick read, though. So let's see. We've got two left. This one is another true crime book. You know, me and true crime. What can I say? We go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. It just sounded funny. Okay, but it's... Final Vows by Karen Kingsbury. Murder, Madness, and Twisted Justice in California. So it's about this couple that met in prison. They got married when they got when they both got released. And then years into their marriage, the guy decides to kill his wife. And they couldn't prove that it was him for many years. It, I guess he made it look like an accident. And then they finally got the proof they needed and put him away. And so I think that's what it's about. I don't know for sure if part of that is just fabrication in my mind. But I will read the first chapter and let you know what I think. Okay, so I finished Final Vows, and it was a decent first chapter. I'm definitely more into Anne Rule's writing style than Karen Kingsbury. Um, it was kind of just interesting. Hey, so editing Alita here. Um, for some reason, I lost the second half of this video, and I can't really reshoot it being authentic in my feelings, but, um, Final Vows was a decent first chapter. It was really just introducing all of the neighbors and kind of getting a feel for their life. And then it escalated very quickly and there you hear gunshots and you're not sure who did it. And then um, Carol, I believe her name was Carol, ends up dead. And then you also did not see me reading Losing Leah. And the first chapter was from Mia's perspective. And she was just mainly talking about how she gets headaches all the time. And she's gotten headaches for 10 years since her sister went missing. So it was like, okay. 
Anyway, I ended up picking the i5 killer. Big shocker there, right? So, I have started the i5 killer. And since it is February, it is on my TBR now. So, thanks for watching. And sorry that it cut off a lot of my video um but i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching